Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel. And if nautical nonsense be something you wish, then today's episode of Donkey Kong 94 has the prescription for your blues. We are on the ship. We're on a boat. We're on a boat. We're on a mother flipping boat. So let's go. Let's take this. No, I didn't do an immediate. Why didn't I do an immediate like boosted jump? That's what I was trying to do. That's what I get for trying to be a fancy show off. This is probably going to happen at least once a day going forward. If not multiple times, I would say. All right. There we go. That time the non-boosted handstand jump was not so bad. Okay, let's take the rope. Two, three, four, five. That's some... There. Whoa, that was... Wow, I could have almost jumped onto his head from there. I... That was almost pro speedrun strats. I tried speedrunning with this game once, and it did not work out. I am not built for speedrunning. I could probably do a glitchless run of this game if I really practiced it, but watching some of the glitches that people pull off and me trying to do that, that convinced me that speedrunning was not something I should ever, uh, ever attempt, probably. Uh, that is better left to, uh, that is better left to the speed freaks, the speed demons. Uh, I'm, I'm a very slow and low key kind of guy. We keep it, we keep it slow and low in here. We've got this slow cooker set to eight hours, and we are gonna, we are gonna make sure this pot roast is nice and tender and juicy. That's what we want. A nice, tender, juicy run of this game. You want to be able to bite into this game and say, yes, that is one tender Donkey Kong 94 right there. Why not grab the purse? It's there. All right, we don't want to get mushed up against the wall, but we got to get this guy's attention. Okay, here we go. I love the little astronaut enemies over there. Or the... Not astronaut. I always thought of them as astronauts as a kid, but... I mean, that's clearly wrong. Uh, let's go ahead and set it there. I think the door is somewhere up there if I was looking correctly. Oh yeah, and sometimes there are fake doors, and you gotta watch for the one that Pauline screams from. But yes, those are guys in scuba diving suits. But when I was a kid, I always thought of them as astronauts, and I was never quite able to shake that. So, astronauts they are. Astronauts walking around on a boat. Hi, hello, how you doing? Sometimes, sometimes you get a little bit lucky with this level, and you can beat it, like, super early. No! No! No, I tried to be a I tried to be a fancy Dan, and that's what I got. Yet another one of Mario's mini death animations. He gets flattened and floats to the ground like a feather. I mean, it also real I mean it's cute and it's funny and it's a great animation, but it also looks like it really hurts to be if we're being perfectly honest. Okay, yeah. That's what I was trying to do at the time. Alright, and that is settled. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah, I think I need to get up here and do this one. There we go. Well, that would have helped earlier. I forgot that that switch was for that. So that I don't get mushed. It's just a lot easier to play it safe and not get mushed. Than to have the, have the floor there for you. Saves a lot of time. It's a little more dangerous, but who cares. I have proven amply throughout this run already that I am not interested in being safety man. Here we go. There we go. There's the boosted handstand jump. You can do that if you feel so inclined. I love the contrast of the seagulls against the light blue sky. That's something you don't really get on the Game Boy, sadly. Alright, first half of the ship down. We're out of the poop deck. Now we go up to the P deck. Okay, this goes up. So, okay, let's see. Can I? No, I can't. All right, we want to be careful with the little electrical spark there. A lot of electricity and fire in this part of the ship. That seems like a dangerous thing to have on a ship, but you know what? I'm not the, I'm not the OSHA inspector. Uh, can I curve around here? Oh, wow, that was a little less smart than probably 
There we go. Probably would have been faster to just wait for the elevator, but I'm pretty impatient when it comes to this game. But this game doesn't necessarily punish that most of the time either, so you might as well try the crazy thing. I remember this one. Okay, so we want to set up this one first so that the so the scuba Steve. There we go. This way we land on our feet and we can get up the ladder really fast. And ooh, yes. Very close. Very close. But we don't have to deal with Neil Armstrong here, so fine by me. I'm not really interested in that purse. He can have it. Wouldn't it be weird if you got mugged by someone in a scuba suit? That would be... That would be kind of bizarre, honestly. I don't know why that came to mind. I guess I associate purses with muggings. What a weird association. Okay, no, 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 no. Go on to the thing. That's where we need you. Sometimes you need to use enemies to your advantage. Okay, uh-huh. Bring out your shield. Boy, there are just all kinds of mismatched people on this ship. There are, there are astronauts. Again, I know they're not really astronauts. It's just fun. It's just part of the fun. Okay. Open up. There's astronauts. There's knights. There's... There's all kinds of goobers on this dumb thing. Here we go. In we go. Did we get all that? No, we didn't get the parasol. Oh well. We'll get our one-ups when the time comes. And that time is right now. I always loved how tall this particular one was. Ah, oh, man. No. Need to be in place faster to grab that one. That's kind of what I was trying to do. But I was also just reminiscing about how much I love this part. Oh, wow. And I whiffed completely. There we go. Oh, wow. That wasn't tall enough to reach him? Oh, hey. Well, then we're having a heck of a time here, aren't we? Well, I'm going to grab this and I'm going to go up the way then. Okay. I may have just gotten myself into a little too much chaos here. Okay, there's one, finally, 30 seconds in. Good grief. Not nearly as good as this as I would like to fancy myself. Okay, let's see. And I think he's going to drop it right here this time. Nope, nope, he was going down the middle. There we go. That took a little longer than it should have, probably. But, once again... Mario, you're not using the tools around you. You're just staring. That's why this game lasts as long as it does. Mario just likes to stare at Donkey Kong running away. I think he gets off on watching Holly get captured somehow. Maybe, maybe that's like his kink. Maybe we shouldn't be so quick to judge. Here's our first glimpse of the tower, I think. Uh, the final world. I think this it, it keeps getting closer and closer as you go through the levels. Uh, but I think this is our first glimpse of it here. Uh, which is which is a nice little bit of foreshadowing. Yet another thing that this game does really well. And speaking of things done really well, we've beaten the ship. So that's it for us today. Join us next time when we move on to the jungle. I love that jungle song. It's so, like, menacing and threatening. Ugh. I could listen to this one all day. By the way, the guy who did the soundtrack for this game, Taisuke Araki. We should talk about him the same way we talk about, like, a hip Tanaka or a, or a Tim Fallen. Just on the basis of this soundtrack alone. This soundtrack is so good. And, like, before this, he did, like, Wave Race for the Game Boy. And that was, like, it. And yet he comes out of nowhere with this Donkey Kong soundtrack. So many bangers on this thing. Wherever you are, Taisuke Araki, I hope you are living your best life. Because I want you to know the Donkey Kong soundtrack is an all-time bona fide classic. I think that's something we all ought to be able to agree on.